Hi, my name's Joe, and I live in Raleigh. Joe, when you first came in here, what was your major complaint? My leg and my back. Yeah, and how long had that been going on? Um, about a week. But I'd had surgery two years prior. Exactly. It didn't fix it. It didn't fix it. No. So we were up and down and up and down for right. years. Right. But I had bent over to pick up the dog, and that's what it, I, I could barely walk after that. And it wasn't a big dog either. No, a 20 pound dog. Yeah, just the wrong thing at the wrong time. Right. And you were a mess when you got here. Oh, absolutely. I was, what, was I on crutches? I couldn't, I could not sit. I could lay, but I couldn't sit. I couldn't go to the bathroom. I was having to barely get through it and then take a shower because I couldn't sit down. Yeah, and miss some work. Yeah, I uh, was out of work for at least three weeks. Oh my gosh, and you have triplets. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so things were in turmoil in your house. Yeah, a little bit. Right. A little and bit. Besides the surgery, I mean, what other things did you try to do to get this handled? Oh gosh, acupuncture, uh, trigger point therapy, um, physical therapy, and the one thing I did not know until coming here was my knee. I thought I had a torn meniscus, but we figured out here that when my knee flared up, it was actually coming from my back. But no doctor, and I've probably seen about 13 or 14, could diagnose that. No one could tell me. So now I know when my knee's bothering me, it's not get off my knee, it's, it's on my back. And then once I, I treat that or I roll on a foam roller, we do the stretches, knee goes away. It's unbelievable. Yep, and you're back to work now. Oh yeah. And take care of the kids. Absolutely, I personal, can pick them up. Personal trainer. Yes, yep, All right. back in the gym. I've got two abs that have come back in, so that's good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we've been doing spinal decompression therapy. Right. We have. And since it's been working out? September. Oh yeah, completely. I, um, I'm i trying to sign up some more of my friends to come in just to be preventive. Because <laughs> okay, well, I don't want them to go through what I went through. Right. Well, that's a good thing. Well, it so, sounds as though you would recommend spinal decompression. 150%. Um, I wish, I do, I firmly believe if I had come here in 2020 that I would not have had surgery. Right. Because you're not that old. No, I'm 45. No, I just, it's just having someone that understands the back and helping you with wellness, not with illness. That's the big difference. Helping you get better and helping you become better, not treating something that with the, the most severe treatment you can, which is surgery. Right. So you don't want to go, I, I'm not going back on the table. <laughs> no. no. Okay. No. So you're looking forward to a good spring. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, most doctors are in this business for to treat illness and to keep their schedule full. You need someone that can help treat your situation and get you back on your feet.